señor. How'd that get discovered? Just lots of people trying stuff and seeing what happens. That's really all there is to it. Capturar a Bruce Wayne es mucho más fácil que a Batman. Y ahora que le tenemos, el protocolo 10 ya puede empezar. Será mi legado. Un monumento a tu fracaso. Y si intentas detenerme, te garantizo que todo el mundo conoce. Yeah, there is a little trick to it on PC where you can force the game to lag and then the door cancels get easier while the game's lagging. But you still have to be at least a little bit good at them. Yeah, we needed like a whole bunch of individual pieces of knowledge before we could even attempt to put that skip together. I mean, not like literally taking it apart, but like figuring out where the chapter triggers are is pretty easy. At least nowadays it is. I think I think we have firmly established where they all are at this point. Bruce Wayne, te tengo en mi lista. Bang. Muévete preso. Bajad las armas. El señor Wayne no causará problemas, ¿verdad? Señor Wayne, pero dejadle las esposas. Tampoco debemos ponérselo demasiado fácil, ¿verdad? Cerrad las puertas. Preparad la instalación. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think we found anything like that yet. Escúchame, cuando abren la puerta, que no te entre el pan. Quédate cerca. Try to follow up for a speedrun? Nope. You can see everything I've ever run on my speedrun.com profile there. It is almost exclusively superhero games. And really almost exclusively Arkham games. En pie. arriba. ¿Te acuerdas de mí? ¡Qué detalle! Tu familia destruyó a la mía, Wayne. Esto es... bueno. Digamos que es una venganza a la antigua usanza. It was okay. Far from the worst game I've ever played, but pretty unexceptional. And it has, like, no replay value. I don't think I'll ever play it again. A second to figure out what your joke was there, Archer. Ha llegado ya, señor. I have zero expectations for Suicide Squad. It's boring as fuck. I like, I like, want to be excited because I want the game to be good, but like, there is absolutely nothing in the game that makes me want to play it. From what they've shown.
Alfred, le quito... It's kind of a bad reason to buy a $70 video game. It's not really the same Rocksteady that made the Arkham games at this point. Eso no suena nada bien. No, señor. La predilección del señor Dent por todo lo binario podría no irle muy bien a la señorita Kahn. I think the game was like $40. Si hay una persona en Arkham City que sepa qué está pasando de verdad, es ella. I already bought it. I mean, you could still refund it. It's, it's not too late. But like I said, you do you. Yeah, the Walking Dead game came out a few weeks ago, maybe. I don't know. I don't think um, I don't think that Deadshot has anything to do with Will Smith. Actually, I think that's just kind of incidental. Am I the guy that's active in the speedrun.com threads? Yes. There is only one Shika Nuggets, as far as I know, anyway. La trayectoria de la bala me llevará a esto. Yeah, for Suicide Squad, the the gameplay is a write-off to me. Um, I could tolerate that and play the game anyway if the story looked interesting, but all the cutscenes they've shown look super awkward and stilted, and I just I don't have any faith in the game at this point. Oh my god, come on, dude. There we go. Saved it. Batman! I do that. I mean, the the museum thing is perfectly fine. I that's a perfectly fine excuse to give them cool movement tech. If the movement tech looked cool, the movement tech doesn't look that cool. I don't mind that. That's like that's. That's nitpicking. I don't. That's. I'm not concerned about that. I'm more concerned about the fact that the cutscenes are so fucking like slow, and there's so many awkward gaps between the dialogue and like just little things like that. You know, it doesn't feel like polished. It doesn't feel like they they were putting in like maximum effort into the cinematics. You know. And maybe they just haven't shown the best stuff yet. But, I don't know. And on top of all that, it's a co-op game. And, like, people say they want co-op games. But then every co-op game sucks and nobody cares about it. So, like, I don't know. It's one of those things that people think they want. But then when it actually comes down to it, it's not actually the best experience. 
Unless it's like a 100% this game was made specifically for co-op and nothing else kind of game. Like, like, a, like, it's like all those people that wanted Spider-Man 2 to be a co-op game. Like, there was no way they could have made that game a co-op game. Like, they would have had to massively sacrifice the story they wanted to tell for that to work as co-op. And it 100 million percent would have made the game worse. I'm excited for Gop Night every once you. Yeah, that's. I couldn't even find someone to play with. I, you could play with randoms on the internet if you wanted to, but that's dumb. Like, like I, I. There were a bunch of people that were like, yeah, let's do a co-op playthrough sometime, and then like, just nobody cared. <laughs> And, like, maybe people would have cared if the game was good, but, like, I just, I don't know. Yeah, that's valid. I only bought it because I was going to stream it and speedrun it, and that lasts a little bit. To its credit, though, I think the game did basically pay for itself on my end. A lot of people watched my casual video, surprisingly. Very interesting, because nobody watched my Spider-Man 2 casual. I guess because people actually cared about that game and wanted to play it themselves. watched Gotham Knights because because they already didn't care about the game yeah that's sad when people like build up an idea in their head of what the game should be and then criticize the game based on that idea instead of what the game actually is that's really lame por favor sacame de esta cosa there have always been bad games that were released in poor conditions. You just hear about them more often now, and you forgot about the ones from 10, 20 years ago. It's a bad take. The only difference now is that they do actually fix the game eventually. Back then, if a game sucked, it just sucked forever, and that was it. Like, I rag on Cyberpunk a lot, for example, but, like, I think it's definitely a good thing that they did fix the game. <laughs> It, it shouldn't have taken them as long as it did, and it's lame that it released in such a bad state when it did. Absolutely. But at least they did fix it, right? Like, you know? I mean, I'll be right back. <laughs> the pressure to complete the games before release? I mean, they do now, too. Do you see all the backlash that happens when a game sucks at launch? Like... It nothing's really changed in that regard. It's just that now they have the opportunity to fix things after the fact. That's really it. I'll be right back. Like, here's the thing, right? No game developer wants their game to suck, you know? So all these arguments about, like, oh, the developers are lazy now, or, oh, like... They don't care because they already got the money because of pre-order. Like, none of that makes any sense. Nobody wants to make a bad game. <laughs> the 
people's takes tend to mostly just come from people who don't actually understand anything about the industry. El laboratorio de frío. Está claro que se dirige al punto más frío. Oh, no entiendo cómo no se me había ocurrido antes. Una línea directa con mi mejor amigo del mundo mundial. Imagínate, podría llamarte siempre que me aburra. <coughs> Creo que nuestra relación. I mean, it's not just about the news articles. It's just that, like, there's so much exposure for everything now because of the internet and social media and stuff and like those things all existed 10 years ago but like it's just gotten bigger and bigger and gaming has become a bigger part of the wider discourse as it's become more popular Yeah, that's that's exactly what it is. Alfred. Hola. It's it's those nostalgia blinders that just get stronger and stronger as you get older. I think you got to really force yourself to like try to appreciate the current state of things as they are just in general. Like because you see this with like every art form. People are like, oh, games are getting worse and movies are getting worse and music's getting worse. And like, none, none of that's really true. If you if you really like sit down and on, be honest with yourself and think about it, like every art form has gotten better over, over time, broadly speaking. <laughs> And there has been change that hasn't been good, particularly in the game industry, and that's, like, totally valid, but, like, it's not... I think most of the people who just write off an entire artistic medium because it used to be better are not being completely honest with themselves. That slide was an interesting choice. Ugh. Mm. Yeah, well, <laughs> okay. I mean, COD was never a game. <coughs> COD multiplayer was never really something you were supposed to take super seriously in the first place. But uh, everything was always about money. That's not, that's also not new. They're a little more explicit about it sometimes, but like, yeah, that's... And it's gotten a little easier to get away with it in certain ways. Yeah, remember horse armor? No, nobody does. Everyone just remembers that Oblivion was an awesome game. Oh, 
Axel. Es padre. Un disruptor menos. Debería estar. Está buscando ahí fuera. Una de las señales del disruptor ha desaparecido. Lo siento, señor. And while there are plenty of games that do totally suck, like I'm not, I'm not trying to convince you that COD is like is like okay or anything like they're definitely kind of the worst right now but there's plenty of other games that are not that you just might have to look a little harder for them than you're used to that's something i particularly find with music like you can absolutely find music made in the last five years that you really like. You just probably have to look harder for it if the predominant genre isn't something you enjoy as much. But like, there is more music being produced than at any point in history ever. So you absolutely can find good music that you like that's modern. But people don't see that. They just hear like popular music that they don't like, and they're like, "Well, modern music really sucks." I, I, I liked when the genre I liked was popular. In the film industry, music industry combined. It's definitely bigger than the film industry. I don't know about both of them combined, though. That's... I'm not sure about that one. The music industry is pretty big. There is a lot of money in music. You don't like movies and shows in general? That is so sad. Oh, well, don't let random people influence your opinions on things. The other problem with all this is people just caring way too much about what other people on the internet think. I will say it's entirely possible that like film and TV just doesn't really work for you, but it's also entirely possible that you just haven't found the right one. Or the right ones. Definitely a thing with books. Think people think they don't like reading books, but often it's just that they've never actually tried because it takes too much effort, or they just haven't found a book that was actually interesting enough for them to keep reading. Yeah, you still fight sickle later, but hey. yeah, we get to skip both of them for now. I need crits. Alright, 
or sorry, if I hammer later in the uh, funhouse. Hola, Batman. Puedes oírme? Claro que puedes. He pensado que querrías un pequeño entretenimiento. Aquí estáis. Que te ven. A este perro le queda algo de vida. Haga ruido y estarás a salvo. ¡Por aquí! Reta. ¿Qué está pasando ahí dentro? ¿Habéis parado a Batman de una vez? ¿Y qué pasa con el traje de Freeze? I mean, I've also been playing this game for thousands of hours over the course of several years. Te he visto despe... You'd probably get through it faster than you think, though, if you were, like, actually trying. Even without any glitches or anything. My first run of this game was under two hours. With, like, minimal strats. I mean, it's just dive roll and shoot the wreck. Like that. A lot of luck. No, not really. Game's very skill based. If it was mostly luck, it wouldn't be a very good game to speedrun. I mean, even the things that are luck, like, it still sort of wraps around to being a skill thing because you have to be able to adapt to it. And improvising when things go wrong or being good at all the backup strats or whatever is a skill itself. So when it comes down to it, I would argue the game is entirely skill. Yeah. 
favorite skip? I don't know how I could possibly pick a skip. There's like 800 million skips in these games. Any good luck today? Uh, nope. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Hammer skip's pretty basic, but it's certainly fine. It doesn't even like register as a skip in my brain anymore because it's so simple. Is I'm gonna have to make like a strat tier list or something. Rank all the strats in all four games. I'm the only person who can do it because I'm the only person who actually is good at all four games. <laughs> wow. Good at all categories in all four games, I should say. I can tell you right now what that tier list is going to look like. Actually, I don't know what it would look like now. Definitely a while ago, it would have been Night, probably City and Origins. Probably Night, Origins, City, Asylum. From best to worst, from his perspective. He hates Asylum Hundo. But uh, apparently Night Hundo kind of sucks right now. So I don't know what he would say now. Probably this. Done. There we go. Yeah, there's a there's I don't remember the details, but there's a strat that really sucks, and if you mess it up, you might as well just reset. It's pretty terrible for like a seven and a half hour category. But I guess it also saves too much time to just not do it. I don't, again, I don't really remember the details. I haven't actually like thought about Night Hundo in a long time. hours. God, I wish 240 was only 13 hours. Los posibles sucesores han demostrado no ser nada más que unos niños luchando contra la enormidad de la creación. He visto cosas. Nada puede prepararte para lo que viene ahora. El destino. Getting gold here is pretty nice actually. Like finally getting good at Fiona skip and everything. It was like I just said, it was 18 or was it was it 19? It was either 18 and a half or 19 and a half. I can never remember. I think it was 19 and a half. It was pretty rough. But yeah, God, I wish it was only 13 hours. It would have been so much better. I might have actually like enjoyed it. Simplemente dead for the last half. Es así de simple. 
Bien, nota cómo la sangre del demonio corre por tus venas, restaurando tu salud y doblegando tu voluntad. Tu siguiente tarea es muy simple. Sígueme por este mundo y habrás completado la prueba. Pero si tocas algo por el camino, morirás. All achievements is actually not super long at night. It's under 24 hours. I forget how long it took uh, Nade to do it. Like, kind of reasonable compared to city all achievements. La sangre del demonio me ha permitido vivir 600 años. Imagínate el bien que podrías hacer con semejante don. Veo que tu cuerpo se debilita. La pequeña cantidad que te he permitido beber solo te mantendrá con vida unas pocas pero valiosas horas. Es hora de que tomes la decisión definitiva. It's just, it's just, it's always different. Don't read too much into it. Um, but I was just saying, um, Night All Achievements is actually significantly shorter than Asylum, or sorry, than City All Achievements. Like, it's kind of reasonable compared to City. Completa este desafío final y la sangre del demonio te dará el don de la vida eterna. Yeah, having to do all the challenge maps as every character and a bunch of them again for the challenge campaigns as every character is like turbo dog shit. Even casually, it's really quite stupid. I don't know what they were thinking. Lo has conseguido. Tu desafío final te aguarda al otro lado de esta puerta. Rezo para que los espíritus sean. I've never actually bothered to get all the achievements in this game because it's just it's too dumb and tedious. Like that and Origins of Multiplayer are the two things that I just won't do <laughs> in these games. Um, they're mostly the same, but there's some weird ones. Like, there's an achievement that's only in, uh... The PlayStation version, I think, or maybe it's only on console for like throwing a battering at Azrael or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that's not on PC, but. Um, for some reason, but other than other than like one or two weird ones like that, they're all the same. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Every time I try to get Rex storage there, I screw it up. I end up just placing Jill. I don't know what that's all about. Hey, Ginger, it's going okay. Hey, Eli.
it helps. It helps. I did it in the first phase. Siento decepcionarte. ¿Has encontrado a Ras? Espera, las defensas de tu traje vuelven a estar normal. ¿Estás curado? ¿Qué pasa? Ras y sus hombres tienen su base debajo de Arkham City y extraen una especie de compuesto químico natural que es. Está... I just spent $180 after spending $90 yesterday. Figure that one out. Food is way too expensive. And that's like with me going out of my way to try to save money on food, for the record. For how long? Not long enough. Oh my god, seriously. I nailed it and then I slipped off the thing. Come on, just do it. Got short cancels figured out, nice. That's a that's a throwback if I've ever heard one. Ciudadanos de Arkham. Shout out to when I got a 105, which was like an insanely good run back then. Like we didn't even think a 105 was possible, and immediately after that, people started asking me when I was gonna get sub one, like unironically, as if I could have possibly had an answer. Yeah, I, uh, I, God, what's it called? I've completely forgotten the word for it, but I, I put my, I put my meat into these bags and then I like seal them and like vacuum seal. I vacuum seal my meat and put it in the freezer so it lasts longer. Basically lasts forever if you do that. Probably not forever, but like long enough that you don't have to worry about it. That way you can get it in bulk. Ahora estás en mi mundo. Oráculo, Freeze me está atacando. Dame los datos de telemetría de su traje. Ya. No hay problema. Bruce, recuerda lo que pasó la última vez. No te dejes de hacer real el combate por tu fuerza. Es demasiado fuerte. Bien, ya están los datos. Te los estoy enviando. You can also put it in the freezer without vacuum sealing it, but then you have to worry about like freezer burning it, and that's a whole set of complications on its own. So yeah, I recommend vacuum sealing. That's that's worked out pretty well for me so far since I started cooking. Yeah, we're here in Canada. We're currently in the process. I don't know if we as people or the government, but somebody is currently in the process of suing like all the grocery store chains collectively for like price fixing, which is like them all agreeing to make the prices higher together so that we're all screwed. 
It's very cool. And like, there's no doubt that they did that. Like it's, it's, everyone knows they did that. It will not be hard to prove in the courtroom. And meanwhile, they're making like $400 billion a quarter or something like profit. then also refuse to pay their workers more. It's like, just, it's just lovely, you know? Bunch of them actually went on strike. Bunch of the grocery stores around here. Honestly, good for them. Hope it works out. Uh-oh. Yeah, that works. Somebody please think of the shareholders. Oh yeah, so I forgot I have like a minute of time save here. Cool. Uh, it still might not help enough though. Segundos fuera. Yeah, they're gonna have to sell their like 19th property. Por favor, and then, you know, not rent it out to people for way too much money. That's crazy. Espera, he dicho a mí? Decía a mí y a estos tíos. Oh, that's lovely. Although sometimes people on the internet are just wrong about that sort of thing, so it could go either way, <laughs> honestly. Why did you not target that guy? Back claw. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not a thing here. I've definitely never seen one. Um, I mean, the grocery stores here have plenty of discounts where the prices are lower. Um, are you actually saving money with them, though? Probably not. You just, because here's what you got to do, right? You raise the price, and then you raise the price by 15%, and then you put it on a 10% discount, and then, you know, suddenly way more people are buying it, even though it's actually more expensive. Food was cheaper. Food should not be expensive. Everyone needs it every single day. Um, honestly, I have no idea. Thank you. 
primera fase se ha completado. Las bajas superan las previsiones en las primeras posiciones. Bien, vuelvan a centrar los ataques en el museo. Quiero que la fortaleza de Cadepot quede arrasada. Yeah, that's exactly what the American dream is. Everything is always about money. Yo, Hugo Strange, soy su sucesor. Yo he salvado a Gotham. To its credit, there are some specific situations where Imperial does make sense. It's just when you have to start converting between the different units, it all falls apart. But you're not really supposed to convert between the different units. Because it's more just like a collection of different measurements that have different uses rather than like a proper system. Yeah, if you have to convert it, you might as well just convert to metric. And then if you need to, convert it back. But... That's quite the theory. It is definitely a little bit more complicated than that. See, in Canada, we're extra weird because we just kind of use both and like we've accepted that we're going to use both forever. Officially, we're a metric country, but like we used to be an imperial country, so it's very confusing. Um, it's faster in the sense that um, you can't buy the backlaw disarm <laughs> because of church skip. So, no, not at all, but in a much more real sense, kind of, yeah. <laughs> That's how I like to put it nowadays. <laughs> Alright, don't totally choke Clayface and we'll have a PB on our hand. I think there'll be another Arkham game. Honestly, I hope not at this point. I'm kind of, I, the series is what it is at this point. And another game at this point would just be a straight up cash grab. And they'd probably just screw it up. So I think we're better off if they just don't. Especially because Rocksteady wouldn't be involved. And even if Rocksteady did make it, like, Rocksteady is not the same company that made these games at this point. <laughs> Tendríais que estar matando a Batman, ¿os acordáis? 
I mean, maybe there's a bunch of people. I I don't actually know off the top of my head, but I'm I'm sure that a lot of people left during the development hell of Suicide Squad. And I mean, obviously Sefton Hill and I forget the other guy's name. That other guy left, so yeah. Even if there are a lot of people from the original company left, it's still going to be a messy change. Yeah, like, there's not really, like, there's not really anything I want to see after Arkham Knight. And... Like, they could do another prequel, but would that really be, like, do we really need that? Would that really add anything to the series? Setting a game, having being forced to set a game in between two other games is so awkward. Muy pronto, un cambio de paisaje te ayudaría a olvidar el dolor. Like creatively, you, you just you'd be so creatively limited. It would really like be so good. And yeah, that's the other thing is Kevin Conroy's gone. So I considering all of those things, I think it's just best for the series to be over. I think the most likely thing to happen is sometime in the future they'll make another Batman game, obviously, but it won't be an Arkham game. And then separately probably sooner than that maybe we'll get like an asylum remake or something because that's definitely an easy win for them if they want to do that See what happens. Uh, ooh, this is tight. But APB is APB. Four seconds. I'll take it. Kind of a gross run. Finally, I have something to upload to YouTube. I haven't uploaded anything to YouTube in like a month. This is great timing. <laughs> um. Oh yeah. And there's still lots of time saved to work with here. Thank you all for the GGs.